It's such an honor to win this award and to come after so many women who set the example and came before me. I think of the success and what they've accomplished in their careers and I am just feeling very humbled, but very, very excited. 35 years ago, I took a job at City Electric. I left a career from uh, Cisco Foods and it was a small company. I describe it as a dusty old building with dusty old people, but it was a challenge and it was an opportunity that I knew that I would have um, the potential to buy in as part owner and it was very important to me to be able to buy in. I took my bonus at the end of the year as a stock option for 10 years and at the end of those 10 years the owner was ready to sell the business so I mortgaged my house and maxed out credit cards, signed personal guarantees and bought 51% with a lot of loans from the bank. And then four years later, finished the buyout with more loans from the bank. And now I'm 100% owner, and 35 years later have 10 locations and 105 employees. I've been attending the Women in Industry conferences for probably six years now. I think I've only missed one. And networking for women, at least in this industry, is a challenge because there aren't a lot of opportunities to find other women that are in the, in the industry but that are close enough to you geographically. For City Electric, we thought why not bring the Women in Industry program back to local, grassroots kind of operation. So we started to invite, this is about five years ago, I invited uh, women from our company, from City Electric, and then we invited uh, customers, contractor customers to come, and reps and manufacturers that are in various positions in, in our local area. My advice is to jump off the deep end. Don't be afraid to take chances, but also be a follow-through kind of person. We talk about that often at City Electric, and one of the things that I was told go when I first started in, in my career was don't tell me what you're gonna do. Don't say gonna, I'm gonna do this. Do it, either you do it or you don't do it. So for me, I think that's good advice to just say, go for it, set the time, set the date, and then you do it.